Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about a brand new way for you to farm money in the quickest time possible in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So we already have covered one method with how you can farm money very quickly and effectively within Brilliant and Diamond and Shining Pearl. You can check that video up out here if you're having any difficulties with this method. But this method is a lot quicker. It doesn't involve any trainers. It doesn't involve the Versus Seeker. And you can do this with only three badges and access to fly in the game. And this is taking advantage of an exploit that's been found on the traders in the undergrounds. You want to be starting out in Veilstone City. I'll just pull it up on the map for you here so you can see it and like I say you only need three gym badges to actually do this I'm just going to show you this is my copy of Pearl we've only got three gym badges we've just got access to fly and you can actually see from my bag how much money I got here the first thing what we want to do is you're going to be far enough in your game to have your explorer kit so you want to make your way to the underground so we're going to want to visit two particular traders in the underground there's three all together there's always going to be a small sphere trader a large sphere trader and there's going to be a, a base expansion Banda, um, but it's the small and the large sphere traders that we're wanting to um, to to visit and pay um, some trading time to. So uh, the first one we're going to visit is a small sphere trader, which is here. So the first thing that we need to do is just take a look at get goods and just have a look at what they're trading for. Now these will change on a daily basis. So we've got large blue spheres, and to get one large blue sphere, we need 50 small blue spheres. And how do we get that? So we're just going to go up. We want to head now to the Veilstone Pokemon and we want to just head over to the uh, the the lift you can go up the escalators but I, I always feel like the lift's a little bit quicker you want to head to floor four because this is where the pedestal traders are the vendors and once we're here you want to just exit the lift and there are going to be two vendors up here that we want to pay attention to there's going to be this vendor at the top here and then this one towards the bottom and it's this one towards the bottom where we want to take full advantage of so i'll get rid of the camera for this so you can see exactly what we're going to be doing i'm going to go buy you're going to want about 130 to 160 uh, pocket dolls to max this out you're not going to essentially need that if you're into the game and you've only got three gym badges you just buy as many as you can and then kind of repeat the process so it's important to know which pedestal relates to which sphere if the large red sphere is at the top of the the traders list where we've just been and you're wanting to go and buy the square pedestals if it's blue like we've got we're going to want to buy the round pedestal so we've already got uh, 155 in our bag because we've already been doing this process so we're just going to want to buy another uh, eight and that will take us to 163 so that's that's a nice number here i will just visit the the npc the vendor here so they're going to sell a different array of pedestals they're going to sell the square which relates to the red the round which relates to the blue spheres they're going to sell sturdy pedestals which the other one doesn't which relates to green spheres and then clear again will get you blue but the big difference here is they're the same price but these are all extra small pedestals whereas the ones that we've just bought are medium ones so we're just going to go back down we're going to visit that same trader again and that's how we can do this money money technique so as you can see here we've got uh, round medium pedestals. This is what we've just bought. This is what we're gonna wanna trade. And you wanna just see, you wanna get it to a point where it's like 999. So we don't want to waste any. So we'll just sell that many of them. And that will leave us 84. And what we wanna do is just go get goods now. So we wanna buy the large blue spheres. We can buy uh, 19 of them. Okay, so we've got those brilliant and then what we want to do is when we've got rid of our small spheres we want to come back into our pedestals sell the rest of them what we've got we don't want to waste any money of course any pedestals of course money i say it's all money relative really in the end and then we want to go get goods again buy those blue spheres again and just buy as many as we can and you do that until you have kind of got rid of all the pedestals that you've got and you've got the most large spheres that you can get so at this point what you want to do is just come up and skedaddle out of here because we're going to want to fly to another town and we're going to head over now this is why it's important to have fly we want to go to Aubra city and in Aubra city we're going to visit the large sphere trader and we use these two locations because they give the most convenient access to both a small sphere trader and a large sphere trader 
as you come down straight outside the Pokemon Center, you want to just head up here and here is your large spear trader. So I'm going to knock the camera off again and we'll see what they're selling. So get goods, get goods. And you can see they can top of the list. You can for two large blue spheres, you can get 40 small blue spheres. This is where we want to take note because down here is where all the TMs will be. And these TMs are what we're going to want to buy. But we've got no prism spheres. We've not got any red spheres at the minute. Uh, we don't have prism and we've got large blue, but they're costing quite a bit of money. But there is a way for us to get these TM80 rock slides for two large spheres that we've just got. So what you want to do when you're at this position, you want to hit up and A, literally just tap it together up and A. And you can see here right now that it's kind of glitched out where it's obviously showing that for one TM, it would be three prism spheres, large ones, which we don't have any of, but we're actually able to input how many blue spheres, small ones do we want? And we can trade them for our large blue spheres, which we've got in our bag. So if I just click off that again, we click into this TM, we can't get it, but we go back up to the top of the list. We click that up in ace, the kind of the simultaneously, we are able to trade for these. Now I'm not gonna trade for all of them because I got quite a few in my bag already, but I'll, I'll say we'll, we'll do two, we'll do two lots. So we'll get 80, um, but you just max out the amount that you want and that will add it to our total and it'll take four blue large spheres from us for doing this, okay? So that adds it to our bag. So we've got 838 uh, rock slides in our bag now. And that is a way for us to do it where we can just go up in A and it'll make sure that it does bring the, the total from what's being charged on this top one down to this bottom one. So we're essentially getting these TMs very cheap. So at this point, once you've done that, you wanna just exit the underground and head to the Pokemart. You know, you can sell 838 for 1.2 million poker dollars. Obviously you can't max out your bag uh, past uh, 999. So you're gonna have to just kind of keep some extra, don't waste them and uh, just top your money up as and when you want. So that is one way to do it. That is the most straightforward. If you've got the trader who is trading for large red or large blue spheres, you are on the money. That day is the day to go and do this there are other situations though where you're going to have green spheres you're going to have pale spheres and you're going to have prism spheres and we're going to just take a quick look at some scenarios where it's worth not doing it and waiting till the next day so to do this i'm going to have to hop over into my copy of um, brilliant diamond right we've jumped over to my copy of diamond i'll just show you here just to make sure that you're aware that this is a different game we've got all our gym badges here it is a different game different trainer and what we want to do is first off like we have done before in the start this method off you want to head down into the underground you're going to want to speak to the same trader which is a small sphere trader the first thing that we do and you want to just check what goods they are trading today this is where the issues occur really ideally in most situations to do this you want a red sphere or a blue sphere here but we've got neither we've got a prism sphere which is a large one we've also got options here with a digger drill and that is for 10 small green spheres uh, so we could use this technique up in air to get the the rock climb um but we'd need to get some green small spheres so no joy here we'll go up and it's always worth checking your options in with the large sphere trader so to do this we head to Aubra city we're going to go down into the underground again and we just want to take a look at what our large sphere trader has to offer just bear in mind whatever sphere trader you go to they're all going to be the same on the same day wherever they are so you can see here a large sphere trader is trading in um the large prism scales for small prism scales sadly we have no way to get those because there's no way for us with the other trader to get any large spheres without the the, the small prism ones and if we take a look at giving there's only one pedestal that I'm aware of, which is the diamond one that can trade for the, the prisms, but you're not gonna be able to access that in the department store in Veilstone, so you're kind of stuck. And this is my issue here with the green, the pale and the prism spheres because you can do methods where you're able to manipulate the situation a little bit and try and take advantage of it but for the most part you're not really going to be able to take full advantage of the the different spheres outside of the red and blue because you're not going to have access to pedestals that will allow you to buy the other spheres 
So I want to end the department store again. You want to come to this trader this time. They sell the extra small pedestals. And this time, if you want to look for green pedestals, you're going to want to buy the sturdy ones. Now, we're just going to buy 10 as an example for this because I don't feel in our scenario we've got a way to make any money. The clear ones will give you blue. Round, as we've already said, will give you blue. And square will give you red. Right, we are in the underground again. We're going to go and visit the small sphere trader. Once we're here, what we want to do is give goods this time. We want to sell those sturdy pedestals. So we've got 10 of them. We've already got 21 in our bag. So that'll give us another 71. Um, and that that's that, that. So you can see the clear pedestal sells for blue. The round sells for blue. The square sells for red. And the diamond sells for those prisms. There are going to be different pedestals that sell for different uh, spheres like the pale ones and so on but in this scenario it's not worth it the digger drill here yes you can do it yes you can buy green small spheres but you're essentially paying a thousand polka dollars for one pedestal and then essentially trading 10 spheres in this situation for tm rock climb which you sell for a thousand but you are losing out on that trade-off every time 300 300 polka dollars so you're essentially losing 300 polka dollars every time you buy this tm to sell it because you are only getting seven spheres for each pedestal so if this tm here was something like charge beam or bullet seed or stone edge that sells for a higher amount you can make a bit of money but if it's something like rock climber cut which we've got in this scenario then you're not going to make any money from this scenario with the array of items that we've got and in this situation i would say have patience don't change the clock in game have patience wait for 24 hours to tick over and then go and check your traders again and hope that you've got the blue or the red spheres and that is going to be the easiest method for doing this so friends that wraps up the guide on this brand new money farming exploit i hope the explanation makes sense to you and i hope the example that we use at the end gives you a clearer idea on some of the kind of obstacles that you can have with kind of doing this method because there are going to be days where your list from the traders isn't going to be really compatible with the pedestals that you're going to be able to buy in the department store and like i said at the start of the guide if you're having issues with this and the lists aren't great we've got another money guide on the channel here that you can take advantage of it's a way more reliable one where you can do it every day anytime you want and it just takes a little bit more time to do than the current one that we've got and done and covered in this guide so hope you find it useful friends have a great rest of your day and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye